Now everything he says is incriminating. He never had immunity, and that's the misunderstanding people have. After years of investigating this case, Kading says he can finally prove yeah. what many of Biggie's fans suspected. They think the possible suspect is, is this somebody who all along there, there was some suspicion? After the lab raided the house of former gang member named Keefe D in relation to Tupac's fatal shooting, it seems like they got more evidence related to another tragic incident that took life of another rap legend, the notorious B.I.G., all so known as Biggie Smalls. And apparently, all traces now lead to the suspicion that these two crimes are closely connected and there's one person who stands behind them. I don't even care if it's hard to believe because the, the proof is there. Hi everyone and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. A former detective who investigated Biggie's fatal shooting now says that this case overlaps with Tupac's gunning down and apparently both cases are now being reopened to find and punish the culprit that took lives of these rap legends in their years. Greg Kading gained extensive knowledge of both Tupac and Biggie's untimely demises while he was with Lapped and after the recent raid in Keefe D's house, he offered exclusive insight saying there's more to the story. Her best interest to cooperate, you know, we were going to charge her with a... It's been almost three decades since the world lost two outstanding hip-hop artists in a span of just six months. And to much sadness of multiple fans of both Tupac and Biggie, these two cases are surrounded by some aura of mystery, as if people who know the truth are frightened or bribed. And although we all know who benefited from eliminating them both, still the police don't have enough evidence to press charges against this person. As one FBI agent claimed, these cases are highly protected and what the public don't understand is the level of corruption here. It's mind-blowing. And while there's been a talk on the streets that the real villain behind gunning down Tupac and Biggie is still walking free and even enjoying his high life, no testimony or evidence came to the police hands until recently. And it seems like the fragile house of lies is about to collapse for wise is about to collapse for one. Notorious music mogul. But we didn't know it was him until this until the other co-conspirator confesses. With more details coming into play, the police have all reasons to suspect that Diddy is guilty in conniving with West Coast gangsters, and it was him who paid the gangs to get rid of Tupac and later. Biggie? Investigators long suspected that Smalls was gunned down in an East Coast-West Coast rivalry between rappers. But apparently, after raiding the house of Keefe D and reigniting the investigation, we are finally going to witness the justice prevailing over lies, bribery, and conspiracies, as it's now believed that Diddy will be brought into questioning by the feds anytime soon. And it looks like the infamous hip-hop producer is not happy to see how the events unfold. And I'm like, wow, this, this, this vibe that they got on me, like I'm Big Red or something. Despite multiple people speaking on Diddy's involvement in both cases, no arrest has ever been made. As the FBI agent who worked on Biggie's case said, I understand it's bad enough that you've got a body. There's nothing worse than that, but the lengths that they went cover up that murder, I think will shock people. But it's all changing right in front of us guys. And there's good reason to believe that newly found events will be enough to finally make the notorious music mogul pay for his crimes. On Tuesday, July 18, 2023, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department conducted that a search in Henderson, the city just 16 miles southeast of Las Vegas. The investigation of Tupac's fatal shooting kicked back into life, and it brought us new unexpected details about another unsolved crime. 2009. And so whether they use that original statement or just the new statements, it's all stuff that can be now brought into court. Wallace's tragic and unexpected demise, coming less than a year after that of legendary rapper Tupac sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community and sparked an outpouring of grief. And although the first suspect in this crime was Tupac's producer, Shuge Knight, and many people said that Diddy didn't have any motives to eliminate Howe's own artist, ex-officer Greg Kading doesn't believe in this theory. Well, for Sean Combs, I mean, what are his choices, really? I mean, is he going to come out and confess to his association with the killer? Moreover, Kading is confident that both incidents that took lives of Tupac and Biggie Smalls were related. He was working on finding the answer to the question who wanted unalive Biggie and discovered new information linking both cases as the detective explained, Diddy hired the same gang to execute his own artist and just to divert attention from his own persona. This time, he chose to be as close to the scene of crime as possible. Diddy sat in the passenger seat of a white Chevy Suburban with a driver and three bodyguards, while Biggie did the same in a green Suburban. However, as Kading said, Diddy intentionally took this risk and decided to be as close to the fatal shooting as possible because he was afraid that the truth about his involvement will come out. But you also have to understand Combs' position at the time, this sense of fear and dread and desperation that he was facing. Well, although the investigation is not even close to be over, many fans already celebrate the justice prevailing over Cobweb of Diddy's lies. Apparently, the whole world has long suspected his involvement in both these crimes and people can't contain their joy on social media. 
This one person commented, it's about damn time down with the demon Diddy who has destroyed so many lives with his presence down with the demon. And another user added, all of this is known, but nobody has done a damn thing about it. Damned worst kept secret. The streets have been talking for a while, and since the police didn't have any evidence, apart from a couple of YouTube videos, they couldn't even bring Diddy for questioning. But you know the most shocking part of the whole story? It seems like he really orchestrated the entire thing with Biggie, and even Diddy's former bodyguard said that the stories they tell is not truthful. Deal, who worked as Diddy's security in the 1990s, insisted Biggie wasn't shot in a drive-by, as many were made to believe. He also added that he rushed to Biggie's aid after the shooting and pulled him from the vehicle only to watch this kid lose his life. And in the most shocking part of the whole story is that his boss told him not to join the rappers that night. As the ex-bodyguard stated, before we left Andre Harrell's house, Puff told me I didn't have to go. But this is when the bodyguard realized that something sinister was going to happen. That somebody was going to die that night. Somebody was going to get shot. And here's another thing that proves that Diddy was interested in getting rid of Biggie after Tupac's shooting. You all know the story when in 1994, Pac accused Puff and Biggie of knowing about his ambush at New York's quad recording studios. On November 30, 1994, upon his arrival at the studio, the rapper was robbed, beaten, and shot and reported five times by the assailants. As Tupac alleged after, not only Diddy and Biggie knew about this attack, but he also helped to organize shooting and beating. The music mogul openly accused the late rapper of lying, saying, This story is a lie. It is beyond ridiculous and is completely false. Neither Biggie, Wallace, nor I had any knowledge of any attack before, during or after it happened. But apparently, Diddy did in fact orchestrate the whole thing, and he was simply afraid that Biggie would reveal the truth sooner or later. I don't know the business. Y'all don't know what y'all are talking about. So it's going to be a teaching moment. And if you know a thing or two about Diddy's teaching ways and how he usually deals with problems, nothing good was expected from this person. Let's remember a couple of recent examples, like his longtime girlfriend, Kim Porter, who could finish her tell-all book because of her mysterious demise, or Jamie Foxx, who had been hospitalized just because he spilled the beans about Diddy's secret parties for men. You probably realize that Biggie became some sort of a threat for the producer, especially since Wallace was devastated by Tupac's demise. And he apparently realized that this West Coast, East Coast beef went too far and turned out to be dangerous. As one insider claimed, the night that Tupac was shot, I remember Big calling me and crying. I think it's fair to say he was probably afraid, given everything that was going on at that time and all the hype that was put on this so-called beef. Apparently, Biggie going emotional and showing his weakness was something Puffy couldn't tolerate because he couldn't afford his own artist to rat him out. Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. Netizens cannot wait to see the results of the lapsed investigation. And judging by the newly found evidence and Keefe D's testimony, it's just a matter of time before the music mogul is charged, not with one, but two crimes he had committed in the past. As one person commented, I hope they reopen the case put Diddy behind bars. He needs to go, period. And another user added, Diddy is getting old and the powers that be is ready to set Puff up to fall. He did all he could do for those circles he is a part of. There's no need for him. Diddy on his way out and his fall is gone be a big one. Let's hope that both of these mysterious cases will be closed once and for all and the culprit will go to jail for many years. And what do you think about this, guys? Will Diddy be convicted for both these crimes? Or will he find a way to get away again? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other videos about Diddy's sinister activities. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I promise to be back very soon 